welcome to the very first Wolf Den of the Year with Kaylee Starr. Thanks for having me. Oh, of course, always. So you are born and raised Northern California. I am. I was born and raised, well, I was born in Calusa, halfway raised in Calusa, and then raised the rest of the way in Yuba City. So. Well, we'll call you local. I got to give credit to both, <laughs> both my towns. You got that small town love. Yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll get mad at me if I don't, if I don't mention both. <laughs> what, what is it that got you started? Was there a certain time in your life where you're like, this is what I want to do? I've sang my whole life. Um, my dad went and recorded an album when I was really, really little, and there was a song he wrote for me on that album called Little Flower. And um, after hearing that, I was like, wow, this is, this is really neat. This song is so special. Um, and so I wanted to be able to create music that was going to be special for other people. And when I was about 11, um, I started doing cover bands. And I was doing 60s, 70s, 80s music, um, which that's where some of my, my first influences came from. Um, I started writing when I was about, gosh, 13 um, with my dad. And so this first album is, there's a lot of songs on there that had been started years ago, like a decade ago. And it's so nice to see some of them finished. I'm like, wow, how amazing. Like, this is what's happening in my life right now. I can't believe I finished this album. Yeah. Now, you said all but one were written with your dad and your brothers. Have you ever pulled them up on stage and made them perform with you? Or do they oh, avoid yeah. all that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the song Dreamers, Luke, my little brother, um, he's 17. Um, every gig we have where we're, where we're going to do original songs, we'll have him up there. And he, uh, I gave credit to him because he uh, made the piano lick. Oh. And so we're like, dude, get up here and, and play that part. And so he'll do that. And my dad and I have been performing together in the cover bands. He was the keyboard player. All right, let's yep. talk cover bands. So uh, we've got Jet Benatar. Yes, I do Jet Benatar. <laughs> I do a salute to Taylor Swift. Okay. Um, I'm in a country artist tribute where I do Carrie Underwood. Um, Out of all of those, which one? Is there one that's more fun than the other? I mean, they've all got to be fun, but I mean, Jet Benatar. <laughs> you nailed it. I, I just, I love rock and roll. I mean, well, Jet, Joan yes. Jet. I love rock and roll. Um, but really, I... That one's just so fun because everybody knows those songs, <laughs> and it just gets the party started. I, yeah. Now, and besides, Pat Benatar is one of my first influences. So. I was gonna say, besides them, who are your biggest influences, whether it be country or rock or across all genres? My top, my first two were Heart. That was the first album on my first iPod. Um, the Eagles, and um, Faith Hill. Yeah. yeah. And Kelly Clarkson. Lots of uh, female powerhouse vocalists. Right. Yeah. Killing it with the females. All right, now you went to Nashville to record your EP. Was that the first time you were out there, or are you traveling back and forth? What's going on with Nashville? Um, well, I'll kind of give you a little backstory to how that happened. I was performing in a bar in Reno, doing 70s music, and Alabama happened to be playing at the convention center in Reno. And the touring musicians with them ended up coming into the bar, and. I didn't know who they were. People were like, it's Alabama. I'm like, who? <laughs> I know. My mom's like, seriously, Kaylee, mountain music, come on. And um, so I was like, oh, ha, ha. And I, I met the guys, and then they came in the next night. And the guitarist, his name's Chemo, he came up to me and he goes, girl, do you write? I said, yeah. He goes, send me your stuff right now. He said, I'll take care of everything. He said, but you got to get your butt to Nashville, and we're doing this. So. I feel like that was totally like God's timing. Um, I went there, nicest people I've, I've ever met. I mean, I seriously, I, I feel like I'm a nice person, but then you get to Nashville, I'm like, I've really got to step my game up because <laughs> Southern hospitality is no joke. Um, but yeah, that was the first time I went to Nashville. I recorded um, three of the songs on the album, which were Idiot, Dreamers, and Say No More, and then um, went back and did the other eight. Like, uh, about a month later. Now, did you do the other eight all, knock them all out that one trip? Yep, yeah, in two days, did that all eight. crazy. I lived in Reno for a while, and so the Reno bars, to have that happen is insane. Rumbolians? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> no, but to have that happen in Reno, that's crazy. Like, you, that is timing, if none other. Totally. And, you know, I was kind of at the point where I'm like, man, I don't want to sing somebody else's songs for the rest of my life. And it was just that perfect timing and was given that opportunity. Now, since then, have there been any shows in, partic in particular where you're just like, 
above all, like you had most fun than any other show, anything in particular that's just like, wow, this is what I get to do? Uh, this one? <laughs> I, you, know, oh, and I, you. you know what, I'm not like trying to, to be all sweet here, but really it's just kind of a surreal feeling to just be able to sing even to a small group of people. Just any chance I get to sing my own songs is really a surreal moment. Yeah. I mean, it may not be the biggest show, but it's more special and meaningful to me. Um, because, gosh, these opportunities come once in a lifetime, so... I, I really do appreciate you guys and people who are watching. Um, I'm trying to think, there hasn't been all the shows that I've done out there. Gosh, Kentucky and where were we? We were all over the place. I honestly fell asleep on the bus, and I'm not sure where we ended up. I just said we're here. Get on the stage and play. Like, What's up? So. <laughs> all right. So what's next? So the EP is out. The full album's out. Okay. Yeah. So where can everybody find that out? You can find that on my Facebook, which is Kaylee Star. Uh, my website's KayleeStarMusic.com. And my Instagram, Kaylee Star. So message me or there'll be links yes. to find the album. And it's on iTunes. Duh. And Spotify. <laughs> That's what we're looking for, but you know. <laughs> also, come by my social media and say hello. <laughs> and she is very active on social media, so she will reply to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is there anything else? Anybody have any questions? Is there anybody you'd like to collaborate with? Mm. Um, I mean, there's a million artists I would love to collaborate with. I think it'd be really neat um, to collaborate with another hometown artist. Tyler Rich is from Yuba City. Um, so I think that'd be really awesome. Somebody else who's from around here. John Party. I mean, pff, a girl can dream. Um, but, you know, gosh, I'd take any of them. Yeah. All right, well, let's give it up for Kaylee Starr. Thank you, guys.